What's going on guys? So we are officially, is it four days? Four days, four days out from opening Iron Bolt Gym. And it's been a while since I've kind of come on here and post a little update of things going on at the gym. But to be honest, it's not been that creative or anything worth posting. It's really just been meticulous little things or little details or paperwork and things like that or setting up gym software. So I'll show you a few things when we get back at the gym. But right now we're on the road. We got Austin in the back, Maddie driving, sipping on some energy drinks and we're on the way to get a treadmill. So in the last video you saw we picked up a killer deal on a really nice Stairmaster and that's been getting a ton of use by basically everyone at the gym been putting in work. But obviously we want something to be less torturous for cardio, at least another option. And so I saw a really good deal on a treadmill that we're on the way to go get right now. It's only about a 45 minute drive. So picking that up now, then bringing it back. We're also going to grab probably a few barbells on the way too. Because unfortunately, the Texas bars that we ordered are on such back order that, you know, they're supposed to be here this week or next week, but there's just the awful customer service on email and Facebook, everything. They just say, oh, we're working very hard. And I'm like, can you give me just a rough estimate? Oh, we're working very hard. I don't care. Just give me, an, give me a time frame, give me something. They'll give you nothing. So dealing with that, and obviously we wanna have bars so people can actually work out with barbells on opening day this Sunday, and also in the future until our bars get here. So picking up a really nice Texas bar on the way back after we get the treadmill and also two other bars that will get the job done. They're not phenomenal, but they would definitely be more useful than no barbell at all. And then eventually when our nice bars come in, we'll be ready to rock and roll. So getting those on the road right now, getting the treadmill, I'll show you all that when we get it. But other than that, I'll show you guys more updates as far as the gym once we get back to old Iron Belt Gym. Like Heck. my jacket was on the ground the other day, he made a bed out of it. <laughs> All right, so we are back at the gym and got this beast of a treadmill. So I was really happy with it because, because it's a life fitness and this thing goes for a few thousand used. But I was luckily able to get it for 350, 350 for this bad boy. So we're about to get this out of the truck. It was kind of easing out, so we had to restrap it, retighten on the highway. But we're gonna get this out of the truck, back in beside the Stairmaster, and uh, we'll test it out once we get. I believe we have to get a little adapter piece for this because of the outlet connection. But other than that, happy about it. All right, so we got it over right beside the Stairmaster because again, we talked about putting a bike here, the treadmill there, just because as far as where things are gonna line up and fit and plugging things in, I think it'll just be taking up the least amount of space um, putting it in that way. So hopefully that'll work out. We got to get an adapter for because, like I mentioned, the plug is a little bit different. But uh, happy with it, happy to turn it on, give it a go. And uh, again, for the value for what we paid for it, it should be very nice. All right, so we just got back and picked up the barbells. So as I may have mentioned, plan B is activated due to the barbells being on back order. So we got two regular kind of like home gym type bars that I'll show you in a second. But the first one is actually a sweet bar. It's actually a little bit better than the bars we ordered for the gym. So it's a Texas power bar, but it has a zinc shaft on it. So with the black zinc shaft basically just means it's a little bit easier to maintain rather than the bare steel, steel bars. We kind of have to do a little bit of work as far as oiling them up, um, cleaning them and such like that so that they don't rust and uh, oxidize and things like that. So here's that bar, brand new, got a good deal on it. The knurling's very strong, very rough. Everything is smooth. I don't think it was ever used. It was actually brand new out of the box. So we got a really good deal on that considering that. And then the other two bars are temporary. They won't be here that long. Once we get our regular bars in, we get rid of these, but they at least hold plates and you, you know, can be used. So we got two of these cat bars, nothing too special, just simple, but they aren't awful either. They aren't overly rusty, but got a good deal on those as well. So we now have five barbells. We're probably gonna borrow one more for opening day. And then hopefully our actual bars come in either the first week we're open or at latest the second week. But uh, we'll deal with it from there, but definitely plenty of bars now to get this thing going, get this party started. Picking up a new leg extension tomorrow and uh, I'll catch up with y'all then. Let's try. Road tripping. On a rainy day. Yep. Eating some pretzels, got some drinks. Trying these out. I think they're overpriced as hell, but Okay. We're going for it. Very foggy. <laughs> Very foggy. Feeling okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> thinking yeah. about Chick fil A? No, I'm thinking about peeing again. Oh, yeah. Not, not as fun of a thought as Chick fil A, but yeah, got 11 miles on this long and windy road. Yeah, 
Spooky. What will we encounter? Spooky. Blair Witch season. Yes, it's been a, uh, a long trip because every time we've gotten off or like changed, I feel like the directions have then changed as well yeah. towards keep not on the interstate toes. anymore. Oh, oh! I thought you said keep showing your toes. No. I was about to say. <laughs> keep That's only for your only fans. Yeah. Hmm. Press it on the head check. Yeah, we'll <laughs> see who can eat it. Yeah, we we'll see who's left standing. <laughs> we both got 30 piece nugs and uh, of course the fries. And uh, Maddie got a number one, but she's thinking I can't finish my uh, nugs, but she'll see. She'll rue the day. It's actually not too big a box. Oh, she feels heavy. Walk around each corner and then all of a sudden I heard like the megaphone. She has touched down. Got a new leg extension because the other one we didn't really love. We got Dobie crying in the background, but the other one we had kind of stopped short as far as range of motion so we picked up this one really good deal on this and a very very smooth kind of motion and belt system on this guy so happy about this nice little upgrade we'll get rid of the other one over time and uh yeah right in time before opening day so to wrap up this video last finishing touches that we worked on tonight was getting these frames up which i think add a really cool unique aesthetic and we'll get a few more magazines uh you know as the months go on and weeks go on of being open and the last thing we did was Get the fridge loaded up for opening day. So a bunch of different energy drinks, Miracle Labs, 3Ds, Alani News, all ready to go for opening day. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I gotta take this rascal home, get to a lot of work, and uh, long day, long day. But I'll catch you guys later. Make sure you like the video, subscribe for more content, and I'll catch you guys hopefully at opening day, if not in the next video.